Now it's the world's only wooden skyscraper, and it's causing a stir in Russia's northern city of Arhangelsk. One man's dream home could become a threat to the city's local population. And as Ann Smith reports, even the person who designed it says the contentious construction is far from sound. This is Russia's only wooden skyscraper, and Nikolai Sutyagin's dream house. Its Gothic facade, complete with fairy tale turrets, dominates the skyline of the city of Arkhangelsk. Despite spending time in prison, Nikolai was able to claim the title of the city's richest man, and the house was a way of showing off his wealth. So Yagin's dream home was only ever meant to be two stories high, but then it grew to 13 stories high, Arkhangelsk's biggest wooden skyscraper, and possibly the largest in the world. But if you think I'm going any higher, you're crazy, because if it looks incomplete on the outside, you haven't seen anything yet when you go inside. No mod cons, not even a floor in most places. Nikolai ran out of money before he ran out of ideas for his wooden palace, which he hoped would become a hangout for his business clients, a place where they could relax. I can't even explain how I got the idea. It came either from above or from here. I'm not sure how it came to me. It happened step by step. Certainly the views are impressive, although to enjoy them, you need to be A, unafraid of heights, and B, very brave. I'm neither, and found the whole experience utterly terrifying. But for Nikolai, it's perfection, although he concedes it's not to everyone's taste. When the authorities sent me to jail, they didn't consider the construction process. The part of the building that was finished by that time is fine. The crooked part is that which I wasn't allowed to finish. While the authorities may not like it and want to tear it down, they are apparently powerless to do anything about it. Local residents, meanwhile, worry that it could burn down, taking with it many of the neighboring wooden houses for which this city is famous. It's all crooked. There's nothing I like about it. <laughs> it's been there for a long time now. We're just afraid it might collapse. The building is unique. There's nothing else like it. But if it ever catches fire, this will be a serious problem for all of us here. The architect who helped design the first two floors admits the building is unsound, yet can't help admiring his client's ambition. This building is unique, not only to Arkhangelsk, but to entire Russia. There is nothing of this kind anywhere else. There is a trend known as fantasy architecture. This building here is a fine example of fantasy architecture. Nikolai, who spent years reaching for the sky in his timber temple, has now been brought back to earth. Realizing that he's unlikely to complete his masterpiece and that what has been built could tumble down at any moment. Anne Smith, Russia Today, Arkhangelsk.